April 22nd, 2010, ultra marathon runner and father of two. Greg Baumhoff took to the Franklin School track. He would run 128.75 miles in 24 hours, raising over $25,000. Raising awareness for school health and fitness programs. How far would you go? And parents are trying to step up these days to fill in some of the gaps. Some, like Greg Baumhoff, are going the distance to save programs in financial trouble. How far would you go for your kids? Chances are you can't go as far as Greg Baumhoff, a father of two boys at Franklin School. He's going to run for 24 hours to raise money to help uh, the school. Greg will do all 125 miles on this track. It's a quarter mile loop, just 500 laps. Are you guys excited to run? Yeah! Look at that, kindergartners already excited. The race is just starting underway. You can see that the school is gathered here. Let me show you now, introduce you to Superman. Here he is. You amaze me, 125 miles over 24 hours. Now, what is your motivation here? You know what, these kids right here are my motivation. Greg's Go the Distance run is a father's tribute to his two sons and their family's community. Greg reached the 125 mile mark by 8 a.m. and kept on going. Finally, the clock and track caved. 128.7 miles, 25,000 sponsorship dollars, and who knows how many steps later, Greg Baumhoff went the distance. Known as the hardest foot race on the planet, Adventure Corps Badwater Ultra Marathon is a 135 mile race in 135 degree heat. With temperatures soaring above 150 on the pavement and a starting elevation of 282 feet below sea level, runners run towards the Whitney portal. Adventure Corps Badwater is almost impossible. The hills are endless, the heat is blistering. Some have said, to feel bad water, put your treadmill on the steepest setting, put a hair blower in your face, then run for nearly 40 hours. This summer, 100 of the most extreme endurance athletes from across the globe have been invited to Death Valley to compete against each other and against the elements in the Badwater Ultra Marathon. Greg Baumhoff will be one of those athletes, and he'll compete for the children of Franklin School. Greg will take a step beyond anything he's done before, and once again, go the distance, to raise awareness for health and fitness, to raise money to help fund the programs, and most importantly, to inspire and motivate with his actions. I decided to do another go the distance run this year because the need for funding is still there and because I want more for these kids. I chose to go to Badwater for my go the distance run because of something I told the kids last year after my 24 hour run. I told them that they are capable of so much more than they realize but the only way they're ever gonna find out what they're capable of or how far they can go is if they're willing to risk going too far. And then I told them to challenge the impossible. So I guess I believe in leading by example. And the Badwater Ultra Marathon is recognized as the toughest and most extreme foot race on the planet. So I guess I'm going to Badwater to see if I can, to see if it's possible. The Badwater Ultra Marathon encourages the athletes to run on behalf of a charity. I chose Go The Distance and the Franklin PTC as my charity for three reasons. Because I want the best for these kids and I understand that it takes funding. Because at the end of Go The Distance last year, I truly felt that the kids as well as the parents understood what Go The Distance was about. And because I can think of no greater motivation to push myself to where I'll need to go than to have the entire Franklin community behind me supporting me. I want Go The Distance to be something that stays with and lives within Franklin School. Not just as a fundraiser, but as an idea that anything is possible. At 10 a.m. on July 11th, 2011, I'll begin the toughest foot race on the planet for the kids at Franklin. But they need your support as well. I will go the distance. How far will you go?